Hello, welcome to Daily News for Marjaya TV. <laughs> Daily scientific meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy City of Qom, Iran. The residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi, a respected religious authority, hosted another enlightening scholarly session in the Holy City of Qom, attended by numerous scholars, religious figures, and students of Islamic seminaries. This meeting delved into various topics pertaining to Islamic ethics, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic history, etc. In this session, one of the participants asked this question from this esteemed authority. Is the justice required in the leader of a congregation different from the justice required in a judge or a religious authority? In response to this question, the esteemed authority stated, It is famous among jurists that there is no difference in justice in these three cases, and the lowest level of justice suffices in all three cases. In contrast to the popular opinion, the author of Hadayek and some others believe that there is a difference in justice in these three cases, and the justice required in a judge and a valid religious authority is of higher degree than the justice in the leader of a congregation. The esteemed viewers of Marjaya TV can watch these sessions live and directly on this TV network, a collection of other TV channels, and also on the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes, simultaneously with these sessions at 11 a.m. Qom local time. Representative of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi continues meetings with religious and tribal figures in Basra, Iraq. In the ongoing series of meetings, Sheikh Jalal Maash, the representative of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi, visited the Mosque and Hosseini of Imam Hassan Askari in Safwan region, located in the southwest of Basra province. During this visit, he engaged with various religious figures and followers of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, conveying the greetings and guidance of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. Another notable event was the representative's presence at the Diwaniya of the Jafar al Tayyar tribe in the Al Zubay district of Basra. In this contest, Sheikh Jalal met with Sayyid Jawad, Sayyid Khalil al Tayyar, the head of the Al Jafar al Tayyar tribe, discussing the latest developments in Basra as well as the social and tribal affairs in the city. Iraqi residents in Europe meet with PR manager of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala, Iraq. Sayyid Arif Nasrullah, the PR officer of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi, hosted a gathering of Iraqi residents in the European countries. In this meeting, he discussed the potential for expanding cultural and Islamic activities and deepening religious beliefs among Muslims residing in European countries, aiming to make the voice of truth heard globally. Emphasizing the responsibilities of a believer in Western countries, where they must bear the responsibility of their families and children, Nasrullah referred to the saying of the Holy Prophet of Islam, in which he said, Each of you is a shepherd, and each of you is responsible for his flock. At the end of this meeting, the guests conveyed their greetings to the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and acknowledged the efforts of the Public Relations Center in facilitating the efforts of pilgrims visiting the shrine of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center prepares for commemorating Fatima Zahra in Baghdad, Iraq. Ali al Sarai, the director of the Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center in Baghdad, announced the center's readiness to commemorate the days of the martyrdom of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her. In a meeting with religious figures and believers in Baghdad, he emphasized the recommendations of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, highlighting the importance of observing the days of Fatimiyah. Al Sarai invited everyone around the world to participate in commemorating the martyrdom of the honored daughter of the Prophet of Islam, Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her. Commemoration of the martyrdom of Lady Fatima Zahra in Ahlul Bayt Center in Madagascar. The Ahlul Bayt Center in Mahajanga City, Madagascar, affiliated with the religious leadership, conducted another weekly tawassul ceremony dedicated to the infallible and pure progeny. This event, attended by dozens of believers and followers of the Ahlul Bayt, focused on commemorating the modern days of the pure lady, Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her. Participants reflected on the tragedy and oppression faced by this esteemed figure during this ceremony. NCSS holds memorial ceremony to honor top Iraqi poet. The Public Relations Unit of Najaf Center for Strategic Studies in Holy City of Najaf, affiliated with the religious leadership, organized a commemoration ceremony to honor the Iraqi poet of the Ahlul Bayt, Sayyid Faisal Al-Gharabi. The event drew the participation of poets from various provinces of Iraq who gathered to pay tribute to the late poet Sayyid Faisal Al-Gharabi, acknowledging his contributions as a poet and servant of the Ahlul Bayt. Fatima Zahra Charitable Foundation donates dowry to young couples in Holy Karbala, Iraq. 
the Fatima Zahra Cultural and Charitable Foundation, an institution affiliated with the religious leadership in the holy city of Karbala, generously presented its dowry service to dozens of young couples in this sacred city. This benevolent initiative took place in conjunction with the celebrations of the birth anniversary of Hazrat Zaina, peace be upon her, on the 6th and 7th of Jamadi al-Awwal, 1445 A.H., According to Sheikh Ali Al-Mujahid, the director of Hazrat Fatima Zahra Charitable Foundation, this charitable endeavor aims to facilitate the marriages of young people, aligning with the recommendations of this team, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussaini Shirazi. Continuation of Fatimi Morning Ceremonies by the Morning Assembly of Baghdad Residents. The Morning Assembly of Baghdad Residents, affiliated with the al Sadiqa Fatima Center, persists in holding Fatimi Morning Ceremonies. The ceremonies commence on the days of the martyrdom of Lady Fatima Zahra, as narrated in the tradition of 40 days after the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet of Islam. The morning rituals will continue for a period of 40 days. Hundreds of believers, especially the youth of Baghdad, participate in these ceremonies to express their grief and pay homage to the revered Lady Fatima. Mourning the martyrdom of Lady Fatima Zahra by the Central Mourning Assembly of Hilla City. During the days of the martyrdom of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, the Central Mourning Assembly of Hilla City, an institution affiliated with the religious leadership, held mourning ceremonies in the city of Najaf. With the presence of hundreds of followers of the infallible and pure progeny, and adherence to the religious authorities' recommendations, emphasizing the reverence for the symbols of the Angul Bayt, the mourning procession commenced through the streets of the sacred city of Najaf. At the conclusion of this procession, participants gathered at the Holy Shrine of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, where they mourned and offered condolences for the approaching days of the martyrdom of Lady Zahra, peace be upon her, to Imam Ali and Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his noble reappearance. Amal Saleh organization distributes food packages among orphans and needy individuals in Baghdad. In its ongoing charitable endeavors, the Amal Saleh organization in Baghdad distributed dozens of livelihood assistance packages to families of orphans and those in need. This initiative, carried out in collaboration with the Political Action Council of Iraq, took place last Thursday and was accompanied by a speech from the organization's president, Ali Jassim Allami.